Living the dream. Yeah. Oh, Lord. So I'm going to do it now. Welcome to the first ever episode, The Maiden Voyage. The journey through space and time. That is, living the dream. Now, this show is pretty much just Jake and friends, if I'm being honest, because it's my equipment. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the only constant in this show. But the idea is I've always wanted to just have a podcast. It was actually Luke's idea at first, and I've always wanted to do this something like guy. this. So it, it's just us getting together once a month. It's an excuse for friends to be together once a month. Cool. So it's going to be any combination of us friends. Are you making he out with is the microphone? Sucking no, the fucking microphone I go outside off. to see what the dogs are barking at, and Dewey's just trying to eat a big pile of piss-covered snow, and Louie's like, nah, bitch, that's my piss-covered snow, and he's just barking at him because he's like, you ain't going to get it. <laughs> now I know exactly where my territory has been marked. <laughs> It was like, too, when, when Sassy, she likes to pee. Dewey, like, gets right up. She, well, I'm saying, like, she gets right up. He gets right up on her ass and, like, sniffs her ass and, like, looks at her till she's done so that she can run away and he can be like, nah, bitch, that's my snow. Let me piss on that spot you pissed. Uh, see, it's mine. I'm like, okay, cool. Territorial motherfuckers. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is just a podcast of uh, friends <laughs> hanging out, talking, and, uh, you know, just... Talking about their lives. Talking about our lives. Talking about life. Uh, last time uh, we got together, well, this is actually the third part of an epic series called the trilogy. This is part three. Mm-hmm. Parts one and two are up on the Jacob. This, is, right. this is my part. Part three. Definitely. Luke, Tommy, and I have been childhood friends, and our name for our, each other is the trilogy. Yes. So uh, that's going to clear up some confusion. So. Trilogy Part Three. In case you haven't, you know, watched the last or listened to the last two, what the fuck are you doing? Stop listening to this one. Go back and listen to one. I, I gotta then say, two. It's this Part Three has got a lot to live up to because Part Two is like one of my. It, it was probably the most fun I've had doing a podcast. Yes, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was. A, Believe it, it or not, a, I was ta- completely sober in that one. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you didn't drink. I what didn't happened do anything to you? because I was just. No, so what happened? What happened to you? To sleep, bro. Because he drank too much the night before. Yeah, <laughs> all the Ashley's small things. all the small things. He's doing stuff with a Snapchat filter. But, yeah. Uh, we we had a, if you haven't listened to it, please listen to it because there is way too long of discussion about saxophones and how great the saxophone solo is and how yeah, sexy you are playing all the stuff uh, mm. about I mean, you, George Michael's music wouldn't be as good as it was without the saxophones. Paramore's pretty cool. I'm telling you, you can ask. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, know, dude. I have a weird like. You can ask Ashley. I crush get, on Paramore, man. Me too. So hot. I get way too hype about sa- uh, saxophones. Yeah, that too. If they get whipped out at a concert, I'm losing. Dude, I was talking about saxophones the other day, and <laughs> here we go again. The saxophone podcast. The fucking what? Phil Collins concert. He had a fucking brass section oh, with yeah. all the sexy horns. sax man. Anyway, yes. what were you saying? It's the sexiest instrument. The of them all, as I like to call it. But violin, dude, I think is How very dude, underrated. A violin is not sexy. It's fucking majestic. You say violin is sexy? He's saying a violin is sexy. It's sexy. It's not sexy. Well, it's not it's, sexy. It's, it's it's a beautiful instrument. You're right. Where you it's need not. lots I'm, of I'm, intimate. Yeah. T- saxophone yeah. is literally gonna ear fuck you. It's because yeah. your mouth is on it. That's really what it is. <clears throat> your mouth is on something. It instantly makes it more sexy. It's just the truth. True. Think about it. I don't know. For, <laughs> forever, forever, the piano will be my it's, yeah, the piano, top of my piano list. Sexy. Because you learn how to play a piano. You got your fingers going. Yeah. Bitches is wet. <laughs> my mom wants to get piano lessons. My mom's listening to the show live. She's in the room with us. She might hop on a mic if uh, need be. How's it going? <laughs> yes. And um, uh, the love of my life. Hey. Is here, so the I, love of my life. My beautiful wife. My F word. 
your F word. Fiance. 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 We'll talk to her later. But My first, wa- no, we the best, need to the best, no, the best part of this. What's the sexiest instrument? The fucking um, sex symbol. But I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, segue this because we already talked about that. We can't, we can't keep, you know. The best part Gotta about, move it forward. Move best it part forward. for me, and I know people are going to be like, oh, uh, that's the best part. It's like, Referring to her as my wife, my wife. single most greatest thing my ever wife. is whenever I have to talk, I have to ask for per- permission, and I tell the guys, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, my wife. <laughs> the old yeah. ball and chain. She's also pregnant, so I use that as an excuse to get out of a lot of things. And your dog's pregnant, man. Everybody's and I have three dogs. I was like, yeah, the dogs are alone for a really long time. We're probably going home. it on in Club Moyer over here. Right? <laughs> Except me! It is. <laughs> Except me, I'm not getting shot! <laughs> oh, man. We gonna look at it how old. No, you are getting fucked. Yeah. Just overall. <laughs> no, I, yeah. <laughs> You're fucking yourself, yeah. really. Yeah. <laughs> so, Luke, yeah. you, have a, yeah, you have more free time. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Oh. So, I have uh, lots of free time. In your free time. You know, hands free. <laughs> Yeah, they can't see you. So I know, no I know. That's I'm doing it to him. <laughs> <laughs> it was for Tommy. Hands for me. Anyway, <laughs> <Louis>. <laughs> thanks for your input. Anyway, we're gonna, gonna clean your car off because my nose is fucking running like a motherfucker. It's cold. We're recording this in January uh, in Omaha, Nebraska. So, uh, yeah. You don't stop. Why twenty twenty. Why aren't you? Because uh, I have some what's, uh, decency what's, in my what's, life. What's the EVH? Eddie Van Halen? Yes. Nice. Dope. Where the fuck have you been? I'm just saying. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, admir- I'm, I'm, I'm admiring your jacket. Jacket. Luke. Does it have anything on the back? Luke. Yeah, we got the guitar. Oh, fuck yeah. Sex. When are you going to make me Sex a, stream. What? a Jake Williams <laughs> action figure? I mean, I've been trying for Wait, multiple the times, question? and every time I do it, I just it doesn't look good. Well, what do you say? I want to talk about Luke being a toy maker now. Oh He's yeah, got, you're a toy maker. He has. He you, technically you have two because I mean they're not really oh, yours. Yeah. Well, they're characters I've played and uh, in the past. One of one of them is a very very poor attempt at making it. it Looks uh, like a caveman. Yeah. <laughs> that's not, that's, that's, that, that one was that one was thrown out because it's just it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't good enough. I noticed we justice. have the same laugh, Tommy. But mm-hmm. uh, the first one I made was when I first started doing this little thing. We came up with the whole EWE tag team that is the Naughty Guys. Wrestling Entertainment. It was our backyard wrestling. Room. And and I was like, Dude, I came across the that preset. That could work very well. Uh, I think it'd be very successful. The Naughty Guys it should be, dude. It's a great gimmick. Should be. Yeah. Um, that will be a so- podcast. But it was when I bought, I or you bought, you game. bought 2K like 14 for the Xbox. Yeah. Which Xbox. sucks. And Screw you, dude. And that was sucks. the last good WWE game. Uh, That's probably true. Well, um, 2K19 is not bad. 2K20. And I, ca- I was trying to make this make my guy. And yeah, I, a bunch of I stumbled comments. upon the random like preset of Dirty Love. And I was like, that is fucking amazing. What should yeah. we be called? So I'm looking through like tag team names. And it's the naughty guys, and I'm like, that's it. That's what I we're thought, doing. I thought that was gonna be a separate episode. There you go. Whoa. No. A little but bit of, uh, a little bit of Jake and Luke history right there. Yeah. But uh, Tommy's character, I was, he was Dirty Love. Luke was. I was, I was Mr. Sexy with three X's. Yeah. So basically, it's if I was it's Diamond. if Tommy was Dicky Diamond. If we had diamonds D- are forever, D- a, a are D generation X version of ourselves. <laughs> that is such an awesome I essentially was Triple H. He was a combination Shawn Michaels and uh, what's the other guy's name? Road Dog. Not Road Dog. That would be. He was the one who talked all the time. Bret Hart. That's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Road Dog. Or but Perfect. because because we were the main two guys, and it was basically me and him were Triple H and Shawn Michaels. And then, uh, essentially, and that's how that's that's, that's how essentially we brought in Dicky Diamond. His, Dickie his Diamond finishing Diamond. move was a super character called Foot Fetish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> super yes. sexy. Mine was like a running power slam I called the Sixty Nine er. Yeah. And Tommy's finishing move was a jump off the top, top rope, rope called Diamonds Are Forever. But his move is he does like the Diamond Dallas Page Diamond 
and then, and then smacks boom. it across his crotch uh, yeah. and then jumps off the top rope. It's and it's pretty fucking beautiful. And, and his number his number one merchandise was the rubber dicky. <laughs> It was just a rubber ducky. That but a, anyway, that was all sorts of ideas. That was the uh, when I was like, dude, it'd be cool if I had my own action figure. If I'm gonna be this big wrestling star, so I went out and it was like I was trying to grow my hair out. So Jake kept calling me the Miz, and so I went and I found a Miz action figure, and I was like, holy shit, that does look like me. Let me buy that. So then I made my uh, um, my fuck. <sighs> Made my Dirty Love action figure. And then I was like, well, I can't have one without the other. So then I made Jake's Mr. Sexy. And then uh, I was like, well, fuck, Tommy. Oh, yeah, his birthday's coming up. Let me just fucking make one. And then Dickie Diamond was introduced. Yes. And that's kind of this. I just I thought Can it was pretty fun. So I just kept doing it. And I've been doing it. Can you stop doing that with the mic there? Oh, sorry. The mic's picking up the clicking. Why'd time. you do it again? You La- last, time, last time, last time, last. I I didn't know what was doing it to be honest. No, that's why I, did, I wanted to stop you because <sighs> I could see it on the. Come I on. Could hear all it. All right, all right, Dad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make a good fucking show. <laughs> Sue me, dude. Hey, me and Tommy are on it. This was the best fucking show you've ever had. Yep. <sighs> More because of me, but. That's, but that's it didn't stop. Uh, I thought <laughs> that is you, up. you just kept making those, but you just kept going. You just kept making them. Because like, I mean, we would started doing more stuff, so I was like, you know what. I got my Mexican wrestler character. I'll make Pancho Pancheros as a one too. Pancho's Pancheros. We wanted to make. We were. <laughs> we know it's a bad movie, but we love Nacho Libre. And we always wanted it's to make a, great a luchador. Movie. And I just have like this weird like. I wanted to make a. We wanted to make a luchador movie. I just have this weird affinity for Hispanic culture. I don't understand. I no, and it's so funny because we had dogs barking in the other room. Uh, but. Hey! <laughs> okay. It was it is really weird because it kind of got into I got into it as well. Like him getting so weirdly passionate about Hispanic culture made me get into it. And so Ugh. when I went to Mexico, I bought a luchador mask and, and like all Fuck that yeah. stuff. But uh, yeah, so we we want we were gonna make a movie called Mi Hermano El Luchador, which means my brother the wrestler. My brother the wrestler. And we have found so like a whiplash sound effects when we'd high five and. Oh. It would be it would be <laughs> basically everything that Nacho Libre was with the combination of sixties Batman. Because I would w- would love in ring like pals and <laughs> sound effect, but like on screen you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like a comic book. Like a comic <laughs> book. Yes. I mean uh, yeah. yeah, we we didn't even really work out the storyline for that one. We we, we kind we, we had the idea for it. We kind of Blueprinted threw away uh, some stuff. We never actually wrote anything down. It's all kind of ingrained yeah. in our minds. And then we kind of just use those characters for life after Lu- life after Lucha, which was going to be them retiring and being like, "How do we adjust? How did, uh, what are we going to do?" What are and we then going uh, to pizza? they've also just become random extras and other things. Like they're part of the universe, and I did it again. Sorry. Um, <laughs> So in the Overseer movie, they kind of uh, they show up. They show up. You know. um, they're usually a part of skits, which we haven't done in a while. We need to get back doing that. Um, Four hundred two short film. Yeah, and then um, we came up with our uh, superhero alter egos, and I became Shadowblade during the Overseer story, and I decided to make an over, uh, a Shadowblade action figure. So I have that one. And we also had Beach Cops going. I was like, fuck, I'll make me as fucking Rico. Get myself another fucking action figure. And then uh, I did Jailbait, which was the sidekick of Jailbait the Overseer. Jailbait is gold. And um, un- uninten- yeah, unintentionally, <laughs> unintentionally, it was just, it. Was, I mean, it was directly ripped off of Robin, but unintentionally. You a crackhead, and I'm upset about that. <laughs> I Tom should. Tap is crackhead. Yeah. But the whole Robin outfit, he's got the R the on the one side and he's got like the three like buckles on his chest piece. Yeah. And unintentionally, I only made two on jailbait and I put his J on there and I was like, "Oh my god, it's an equality sign because he's a gay superhero <laughs> and he just wants people to be, to, to, to be able to accept him cuz he's he just came out. 
Yeah, but then he gets, as a man and a superhero. And then he gets brutally beaten by the end of that movie. <laughs> it's a bad man. It may or may not be because you're gay. <laughs> but no, that's not why. That's not true. Uh, Are you? I accept. <laughs> I I accept. I accept the alphabet community because it's it's a good storyline. I mean, most ninety percent of my pitches in our pitches and shows had a strong lead homosexual. Hmm. He does. He does do that a lot. I just. He's all about I equality. Just, for for some reason, I feel like uh, a homosexual relationship is just so more in, more so much more intimate. <laughs> because you've had to work for it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What do you mean? What? He's talking about oppression. You've been, a, you've oh, been oppressed. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You've been, yeah, that's you've been was, constantly that's told saying. you can't. Yeah. It's like, and it's like, a, it's like yeah. a racially charged storyline where it, it adds so much more stakes to it because there's so much more of they, the danger. Fight struggle, or, you know? Yeah, yeah, oppre- struggle. Oh. Not, yeah. not necessarily danger, but yeah, in some ways. It's just actually. people that have been traditionally oppressed. Because people are crazy. Because, yeah, yeah like AIDS black, is a dangerous like, thing to come so I, Yeah. And it's just like goes off of the relationship between two brothers, you know, like two dudes that are like... Yeah, I mean, you know, there's like a bro. Dudes are like super, bro. super. There's different. There's a difference between. Like, I it's, think it's almost like the relationship between two friends of, that are dudes. It, no, here's the thing. It's almost girls. like love is just universal, and people should just accept that. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. No, no. But that's I've what, constantly, that's what, I've constantly been a fan. Of, yeah, this is what. Of yeah, love, when you get married, you you find someone that's your best friend. It doesn't matter if they're a man or a woman. It's just whoever is exactly, your best yeah. friend and you want to spend the rest of your yeah. life with. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, love is love. Love is and love. I, love I don't love. know how we got on love is love. But and I love right. love. No, I was talking about that. No, I got it. Okay, anyway. What'd you say? Coming off of that. <laughs> got a peanut after guy. I made that, uh, we started the uh, Smooth R&B recording group, Smooth Unicorn. And so I decided to go by make my alternate, alternate, alternate ego. Alternate. Lou Moyer. <laughs> Lou Moyer. And I'm Jay Willem. Yeah. Sucks. My name is better. It's uh, <laughs> Lou Moyer and Jay Willem. Oh. So you and together you take, you you take away the cake. Let's and try. Then You, rid of the, you basically Moyet. get rid of the R in Moyet. Yeah. And you it get, becomes more like a get French. Rid of the R and you, know what I, you know what I miss? We'll call you uh, KR. <laughs> for sure. no reason. The funny, the, I w- you need to make an action figure of uh, John, uh, uh, John Bovey. Yes. Dude. I was just going to ask that. When because we, we need to when, do you, when you t- show the, the best quote of anything we've ever done, <laughs> the three of us together, anything we've ever made creatively, the funniest line I ever fucking heard was when Tommy goes the can the can dressed me today yeah. <laughs> it was funny because he like he goes and he takes a big old sip drink, like this he's drinking fucking angry orchard and we look at him and we're like hey did you dress yourself and he goes the can dressed me today <laughs> 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 uh, that needs to be a drop and that's just gonna plop into the show random times but the thing is too is like Tommy does like one line stupid shit his, very well because Michael Col- po- po- pointed out I hate tap water and he like threw it when yeah. he was emo Tommy yeah <laughs> I hate tap water <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah dude when he said that I was like holy blast from the past dude because because you have he's that. one of the OG fans man it was a kid like somebody who wasn't even associated with it and he's yeah. like he remembers that shit that's no, funny that as fuck al- to me that was always funny because we the never out of my yard you dumb bitch. I will fuck you up. Jesus. All right. I'm about to really cut that out. <laughs> uh, no, that that's what I love about it. Because when we did it in high school and when we're doing it now, we're just doing it for fun. Like we're just oh, yeah. it's just us getting together and doing silly shit. We've always made these characters like that. To those who actually have just one person because we don't they don't get a ton of views we know mm. that but now that one person that we never we rarely really talk to it was like oh yeah it was funny because i remember one time a couple years ago i was on twitter and uh tyler freiling name drop <laughs> one of the guys we used to go to school with his uh his uh sister tweeted 402 films over chemistry so like that person was watching 402 films instead of 
doing their homework. And I'm like, oh, people actually watch this for entertainment sometimes. It's so weird. Nice. But uh, yeah, it it was it, it was a little bit of like. Uh, Somebody outside of us watches this. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny, too, because like almost every time we get trashed together, it's, hey, you want to watch some of our old YouTube shit? Well, and then... Um, and it's fun. Oh, when, dude, Tommy, it's when Tommy first came back oh. in September, I remember we were sitting there and waiting for him to show up, and we were so happy and excited that we were watching like shit that we made Oh, yeah, like I walked in and that year. stuff was on the TV. When I'm like, did, what? Uh, when we were one up production. Well, the game was at what, like four? And we started drinking at like 10. And, and I, by the and time no you got here, which is like an hour or two hours before and the game, I was, I was yeah. and we're literally just fucking batshit fucked Well, up. and <laughs> I, I had only been, a, like, I only slept like two hours a night before because I had to work. Yeah, and I worked like and, a fucking And so I slept on the way in, or some shit. and that was Damn. the only sleep I really had. <clears throat> So, I was already sleep deprived, and we were drinking. We were like three or four beers deep already. We had fucking then, sidewalk slammers. We yeah, were fucking I just we crushed. That. If you're not familiar with the sidewalk slammer, you take a forty, mm-hmm. you drink half of it. Okay. okay. Crack open a four loco. Crack open a four loco. Pour all of the four loco in the rest of the forty, and then you drink that. Yikes! And it that's why they wait. say you'll you, you'll you slam your face on the sidewalk. That's why it's sli- slammer. That's the thing. I drink. Like you drink one of those, even you already think about it that way. This is how to concoct the thing. You have to drink twenty ounces of beer. Yes. Before filling up an, er- an energy drink. I don't drink, know what is a inter- a, what is a four loco like twenty four ounces. I think it's sixteen. Uh, it oh, be what? Because you because I I can, I can never get all of the half right. in there. So so yeah, but you're pouring the rest of that in there, and it's like five bucks, and it will get you. Way too fucked up. That's what I was trying to get at. You're getting way too fucked up for spending like five bucks. It's shit. Pretty good. It's almost like because a forty's like by itself is not like two fifty maybe. And a four loco is like two fifty. Yeah, yeah. So So it's like roughly five dollars, give or take tax. Not a bad little. uh, We would do that shit. When I when we lived when I we lived we lived in Lincoln and I had the pool. We would just go get the the plastic plastic bottle. Uh, high lives and get a four loco, and we were just fucking chill in the pool, just drinking, just away. drinking on four locos. That's a, we were talking about this last night, uh, Luke and I. Well, like how much we talk about Lincoln and how in love with it him and I were, because that's how him and I like really became friends. And all that time we spent together, we had so much fun because we were just making YouTube videos and we were <laughs> just getting trashed and making yeah. YouTube oh, yeah. videos. And it wasn't. It was just us drinking. Like we were just. We like were, we were extremely reckless. If I'm being if completely you, honest. If you if you were to look in like at our lives, drunk driving from the outside, you were to you were to take a glimpse at the movie that is the Jake and Luke show, and you would see as much as we drink and how often we drink. It you would bad. think that we were alcoholics. Uh, it was bad. Like and I cannot so bad. tell you how happy I am that I do not drink that much anymore because nobody should drink that. No, much. Yeah. we were drinking like every day, every day, every other day. Like when you buy a thirty rack, that lasts you like, oh, I'm going, I'm going to drink tonight. Let me drink like you know, eight beers and then I'll drink you know sometime next week. We were drinking a thirty rack almost every night between the two of us, <laughs> and that's that not bad. including when Adam would bring a bottle of vodka and, and kill half a handle. And it was yeah, bad. it was bad. Well, I went and saw. <laughs> uh, we went and saw time. Winter. <laughs> Sol- we went and saw Winter, Winter Soldier at like two o'clock at a matinee. And, and you and I were Adam was because uh, he drove. We drank <laughs> Red Bull and rum for and like three hours. Running. So I re- I remember sitting in that theater oh being so drunk and just every once in a while something cool would fucking happen. I'd look at Jake and be like. <laughs> yeah, he would just keep making that like. Oh my god. That like fish like. Like you Fish lips with a. Well, <laughs> Did you do that? That's the thing with your like, and that's just so funny. I'm only, I'm only 26, but that's the thing about your early 20s. I think your early 20s are de- put in there t- and designed to make you just be like, I'm going to do the stupidest, most reckless things in my life and push it as far as I can before I realize oh, yeah. I need to stop and S- grow up. Yeah. In <laughs> all this, is in all in all, it's like. I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. It's another fucking drug deal. We just, just drove around the block, came right like back. 
It's it's well, it's because you're getting unleashed. Yeah, like, you, you know, you don't. Oh, you're, really like, you're like, yeah. I, I want to hang on to my youth, but you know, or I want to grow up. You know, I want to do all this stuff, be responsible, but I still want to hold on to my youth. You, still, you know, you in a way. You want to be considered an adult, but you're still an absolute dipshit. Yeah, because oh, yeah. I was a total dipshit. Hey. Mm. Well, if yep. anybody, if I, mean, any, I grew as a person. Yeah. If I anybody mean, had a prison break. If anybody was let out of the cage and was able to was, to do was anything, Boyer. was this motherfucker right here? Luke Boyer <laughs> jumped off the deep end. That's yeah. I went from never <laughs> drinking in a, in a day in my entire life to being an alcoholic within like fucking it would, three it months. It would literally <laughs> be like a text, be like, "Hey man, what are you doing? Nothing. Want to get drunk?" Uh, yeah. Like yeah. that's what we, our thing was. We well, fuck. We literally we. It was almost like we had two apartments. Or like two places of living, and we just at his house and we would just on. switch like every day, like every week. Like, oh, we're staying at my house this week. Uh, Shit, better go back to your place. You can get get some new clothes. Right. Well, I'll pack it mine. W- and we'll <laughs> fucking just stay at your house for the week. It was our, it was, it was our relationship, like from high school. But yeah, the difference is Luke and I were totally unchained. So, whereas when Tommy and I used to do something <laughs> like that, we still had our parents in high school and stuff. Yeah. Now Luke and I don't have that. We have to we have to go to a job. Yeah. But that's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I went to High V hungover so many fucking times. Fuck, Dude, that. I used to Fuck con- going to work hungover. But I was just when I Yeah, but I didn't I'm do shit like, at High V. You know what I yeah. hate? Except hit on my wife. Hit on me wife. My wife. You know the worst part about it was We didn't know it was love yet at the time. Oh I did. Yeah. She just said no. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> it took me a year Shut to coax her into going out with me. Been hunting that for a year. Yeah, but he, but he tagged. He well, I mean, you know what? Oh, he bagged it and tagged. Like I'm just, I'm not saying, I'm not <laughs> saying. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I kept, I kept my options <laughs> open for sure. I wasn't just like, oh nope, she's the one. I'm gonna stay focused on that and not even talk to anyone else. So I was like, well, she keeps saying no. I mean, I'm eventually she'll give in. <laughs> not, yeah, not, not like, not like. Wear her down. Yeah. That's how I got, well, that's how I got uh, Ashley. If I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I was like, I kept my options open. I was still like open to other things, but she was the one you wanted. She's the one I wanted. Yeah. You're the one I want. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me. Yeah. Who can you see? Microphone, stop. No, that's good stuff right there, dog. <laughs> Record that. Wait, we haven't oh, been recording. It's Chris <laughs> Crease lightning, crease, crease lightning. Oh, keep talking. Oh, keep talking. It's in song. How much do you love Grease? I love Grease, dude. <laughs> Grease sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing good about Grease is the jackets, and that's about it. You're fucking wrong. <laughs> the girls are stupid. Well, tell me more. The guys me. are too, too, too. Tell tool. me more. Like, the shit. Of a car? No. Like that's, that's, funny. <laughs> that's funny. No, I, I stumbled upon one of my, uh, one of my Facebook posts from like, like. Shit, like almost like eight years ago, um, and it was me and I posting about Jesus and the disciples, and it's the part where he goes and he looks for uh, like Peter and like James, John, whatever. Yeah. So he goes and he finds Peter, and he's like, "Hey, man, you want to join? You want to join this club? Like, we're just a bunch of dudes. We're gonna go around. We're gonna talk about me and my dad, and all this stuff, and then." Like, John just chimes in. He's like, yeah, man, we got jackets. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were like, like, they were like greasers, and they're just like in this, like, this religious gang, and they're like these cool, hip dudes that just go around talking about God. <laughs> like, you know? Luke is so funny when he makes these uh, pitches about Bible they stuff because he knows so much about it, and he's so knowledgeable. <laughs> Yeah, that it's actually always really funny. Well, because uh, when he's too much of a chicken to make it. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Oh, sacrilege. Sacrilege. Yeah. If God doesn't smite me, my mom will. <laughs> but no, smite Maddie, me, Maddie, all my Maddie, days, my dog. Maddie, we uh, we've been going to a church. We found this new <laughs> church, and so she downloaded the Bible app, and it does a daily a daily verse. So I like I'll send her some send her yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be. That's Fuck this motherfucker's butt. Did you You're know that <laughs> first time she said, said But this? she like mentioned this verse. I don't know what it was. She's like, who said that? And I was like, Luke. And she goes, yeah, that's correct. And I was like, yeah, people don't know, but I know that I know. 
Like, People think I don't know crap about the gospel, but, but I do. I do. I was like, the one person that's so mad that I know so much because she can't use it against me is my mom. Because like I come at her you with scripture all the time. Trying to like quiz you and then say, "Oh, you're going to burn in hell." You know what? Yeah, I answered. You heard. You <laughs> heard. You heard my little speech last night, didn't you? Yeah. About when I was the fat preacher sitting. Yeah. <laughs> I was sitting by the oven, like slobbing down. And I was doing this weird like we're eating, we're preacher eating, we're thing. We're cooking a pizza, and he's doing a weird like preacher thing. <laughs> and I was like, "If you're if you are a believer." And you have fallen, and you don't give in, and you don't live your life as God wants you to, and you and you just deny that. But you know, because you knew better, you're gonna burn hotter than any ember in hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And then I was like, okay. So uh, I, see see Karen and Steve in the back. They're our new members. You know they'll mm. pray for you. They'll keep you from the fire pits. <laughs> you got to keep yourself from the fire. Yeah, Those give it to right. me. This is our new uh, gospel podcast. <laughs> this, no, this I'm saying no, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm, still, I'm still at the church, and I'm saying this is our new worship leader, TFK. Oh, casting praise inward. Lord. <laughs> casting inward with Tommy Knapp. <laughs> no, no, it'd be casting out because you're you're casting pull, out the you're demons. Pull, pull oh, the yeah, demons they're they're good. Out. Then yeah, I got the gimmick. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, can give we, me your can money. We, it's can we do for the Lord? <laughs> Put it right in my pocket. I mean, my that would be head. super, super. It would be super Lord. bad, but a but a traveling. A traveling preacher that does like YouTube series where he goes to different people's houses and he prays for them, he casts out demons, he does all yeah. the miracles. It's all a hoax. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, we could do that. I was just saying it. You gonna burn in hell? Yep. <sighs> Rush you pay for comedy. You ba- basically die. like the uh, Matt Damon Heath Ledger movie, roll. Brothers Grimm, where is. they're constantly make, the making the shit up. <laughs> I want you to know, Tommy, that that is actually a frequent phrase in my life. Yeah, Ashley can confirm that. Where uh, they have to pay for something, where uh, you know something's expensive, mm. and I go, "There's a price to pay for rock and roll." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say blasphemy. Yeah, yeah too. Babe, confirm. Eternal hell. <laughs> you know. She said, "Yeah, sure." You guys couldn't hear it, but she said, "Yeah, sure." Liar. Liar. There's a price. Anyway, what are you up to, dude? I'm not leaving my fucking mom, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking leave it. This is my fucking house, first of all. That, my <laughs> <laughs> That's as how old it is. You said new me 2016. That's how old that video is. New level. Yeah. New level. Four years. That was four years. This is crazy because you never like think about it until you like you think about it and you're like, fuck. Yeah. You I know because I could have swore 2015 was like yesterday. <sighs> yeah. And now it's 2020, 2020, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. And I got the vision. You got the vision? 2020. Yeah, because <laughs> you can see now. Vision's clear. No, I'm going to... see clearly now. The new year is here. The uh, <laughs> new year is here. The <laughs> new year is here. There's too many syllables. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Uh, well, I my, know. my life, uh, I yeah. am is now... Is it yours? Uh, my, well, she is my life. She's my life. But uh, my life. she is my fiance. <laughs> fiance. My fiance. Who, wh- uh, how did that come into like the, the language? What? Like I'm assuming it's some kind I of feel French. Like it's French, yeah. But like the like Parlez vous français? <laughs> Parlez vous français. I would like to marry you, but not yet. I would you like would. to marry you sometime later. You will be my bride. How would you like to promise me to do it at some point? When we have the money to make a wedding, you shall be my fiancé. And we will have lots of tea and crumpets. Go to the Eiffel Tower. You guys seen uh, Super Troopers 2? Tell me, he goes off. Yeah. Goes, what does he say? Because you just said Canada. scrumpet, crumpets, or whatever. Have some tea and crumpets. Yeah, have some tea and crumpets. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to those guys. On the like being French Canadian. Yeah, it's, it's great. Oh, the second one is better than the first one. Yeah, uh, I I gave Bold myself I gave I myself like a crew cut like funny. like almost a I year like ago, I it was funny. 
and I still had my mustache. And this guy I work with kept calling me Farva. And I was like, you were a dick. <laughs> you should have went like, melee, and then threw something Officer at Farva. <laughs> Leader of cola. What did you say to me? <laughs> Damn, burger punk. We should, we should do that sometime. Get a bottle of syrup and just try it. Chugging it? Yeah. And throwing it at somebody's like head and them going, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. Diabetes. Well, we probably already have it, so <laughs> yeah, be we just haven't been diagnosed. We haven't been diagnosed. <laughs> How many you don't have it? The diagnosis yeah. says you're a piece of shit. Well, yeah, now that he he's... keeps having that rock candy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, my life is a tragedy. <laughs> he doesn't do that. At first, I thought my life was a tragedy, <laughs> and then I was just <laughs> now it's just a comedy. Oh God, he's gonna go Joker. Yeah, you're shit. right. Sins, not tragedies. Really, you're gonna go I'm waiting for the punchline. There is no punchline. <sighs> Panic at the disco. My bad. I get those two mixed up too. It's fine. Ashley, Ashley's our. Can you be our fact checker on the show? <sighs> fact check. Find out the origin of fiance. 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 Some French fucker came over here and married two people. Napoleon. And said he was a priest. I always think it's... And that's what he called I, it. I think, uh, piano song. I think uh-huh. engage, just engagements are weird. Yeah, dude. Because it's, it's literally like... Nothing changes except for, you know, your your debt and her finger. Other than you're committing to say, hey, we're going to get married soon. Because it's always like, when we're going to get married, blah, blah, blah. But now it's like, okay, we're committed to doing this. So now we actually have to put... I'm going to say... Time I'm going to say it. that it was invented by a man. First of all, because it was like to say, I'm going to buy you this ring, <laughs> but I want to wait until we have money to have the wedding. Well, 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 not only that, but like at some point, the woman gets antsy and it's like, I need some kind of, I need some kind of like show of commitment. Otherwise, I'm going to leave you. And so the guy was like, Hey, I don't want to actually marry this bitch yet. So, so here's this this the <laughs> symbol that hey, it's going to happen. And then he'll wait another like you know x amount of years just uh, just so that she can like relax a minute to be like yeah. yeah. It was it's she knows she knows. I she think knows. it she I knows. think it originated from penguins. Ah uh, yeah. Go on yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. penguins. The symbolism you know? of the penguin. The penguin pebbles. Yeah, yeah the pebbles. The pebbles. You ever the watch pebble? Pebble and the Penguin? Get it. The 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 the, the <laughs> male penguin brings a fucking pebble to the fucking woman pebble and she and, and they and fuck. she's petty <laughs> and she is a fucking bitch when it comes to this shit. right because penguin podcast, lady though. penguins girl penguins they don't take the like they don't take the pebble from the guy that they like they take the best looking fucking pebble they do like she could get like fucking 500 pebbles and be like nah bitch and then oh this guy he's got a real nice pebble let have me get that seen, have you watched uh Fucking all materialistic Earth or Blue Planet, where the they're showing the penguins like with all the shit they go through for just some food, yeah. and they gotta Straight like up. jump on these mountains and up these rocks. And I'm like, how hard is it? Just think how hard it is for me. And I have thumbs, and I can actually like climb up. This motherfucker just has two flippers, so he's just like <laughs> flopping around like left and right, trying to get up a goddamn rock. Yeah, and then when he falls into something, he don't even have a shoulder and to you fall know what? on. There's he so falls much, straight into his head. There's he just so much flaps his wings. <laughs> there's so much fucking blood on these penguins because they're getting fucked up by these rocks because they can't climb. So they're like literally bouncing their way up this damn mountain to get like a handful of fucking food. And they and become they, a marine and if and they, they make it to the top. Back to their family. Their family eats it and they go, oh, that's great. They don't even eat. And they go, see you later. And they go back out <laughs> to get the food again. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck. Have you ever, wa- have you ever watched... Save the penguins! <laughs> you ever watched Pebble and the Penguin? The, the male penguins, especially. They're going through hell. <laughs> what did you say? said Pebble and the Penguin. <laughs> no, I've never seen it. It's, it's pretty good. It's good. <laughs> What's it about? A penguin and a pebble? Well, yeah. It's about this guy who's like... A, he's a nerdy he's a nerdy penguin. I should have never seen and penguin. And he, he's, <laughs> he's, got, he's got a crush on the hottest penguin. And she just won't take a man because no man's good enough. And he no finds right he finds this fucking like emerald, like and he's like, "That's the pebble I'm gonna give her. She's gonna she's gonna fall in love with me." Yes. <laughs> That's how it happened. It's true. No. Ashley was watching a uh, Rockadoodle the other day. It's uh, a John John Rock-a- Belushi. Rockadoodle. John John Rock-a-doodle. Jim Belushi. <laughs> What's Rockadoodle? Which, which Belushi died? John Belushi. John Belushi. It's Jim, the brother. 
He's the the less funnier one. <laughs> well, well, John was only funny one. because he died. John was funny as hell. Yeah, but Jim's they, not. Well, funny. Jim's, yeah, he was. No, he's not. Jim uh, Belushi kind of sucks. His uh, TV he's show being yeah. about being a dad was kind of funny though. You're kind of funny. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, Greg Miller. Why do you hate Luke Moyer? <laughs> he doesn't hate you. He was just really annoyed uh, with me. <laughs> Because he hates me. No, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. <laughs> Tommy. Uh, yeah. How's it going? Hey, hey, good. Also, uh, I want to say that Ashley and I uh, haven't set a date yet, but we did get engaged for real reasons. It's true. Fine, Hansai. Sealed it with a Green Lantern ring. <laughs> Tell us about that. What? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. Uh, see, well... Don't spare any of the details. Uh, it started... Oh, my God, tell me everything. You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really want to know. We're just looking uh, right I'm just really excited to hear about it. I, mean, I was going to share my fucking story with you guys, but okay. Okay, well, then shut the fuck up and say it. All right. So, in March <laughs> of last year, uh, her and I went to this place called Iowa Diamond. Nice. And, uh, and they're, like, they're kind of a place that sits you down. Like, our meeting was, like, almost two hours. Uh, so they sit you down and they figure out what, you know, band you want, what cut of diamond you want, uh, and like a bunch of uh, t- things. And then they bring out just like stacks on stacks on stacks of rings to wear, yeah. so you can figure out which one you like, how it fits, and then you can figure out your size and all that. And then we go from there. Um, I was gonna try and originally get it then, but I had really no credit. So I had to, you know, kind of build up some credit. And uh, we went back in in December to see about how that goes, you know, with how my credit was. And it turns out my credit was good. So Mm -hmm. I got approved for the loan and uh, bought it then. Well, put a down payment on it and then just waited until Mm. January 17th was supposed to arrive. But it didn't because it was shipping from California and there had been some bad weather. So, so she already knew everything was going to happen. They already had the plan. She she kind of yeah she kind of figured it out. So uh, I w- I didn't have the ring, but I still want to propose on on that on this weekend as a recording. So I was like, I don't have the ring yet, but you know I have this, and it was my green lantern ring. Which is kind of funny because the first story told me about mm-hmm. I got this. Why do you want to do it? Or what? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of. Jesus, I'm cutting that out. No, you're not. <laughs> You always say you're going to cut shit out, and then when I listen to it again, I'm like, Oh, I'm definitely going to cut that You left that in there. That's fine. Definitely. He won't. He won't. (laughs) But yeah, so uh, (coughs) it's where we're at. I know what day it will be in, but she does not, and I will not say. Yeah, I got a fucking clue. He knows. He doesn't know. Just this week. You don't even have a blueprint. I know. know. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's our lives. That's our life. What about That's you, Tommy? My life. What's, my what's life. going on in your life? Nothing. All right. That's <laughs> our lives. And just just waiting out the storm. You get a puss, man. You yeah, get a, I know. You get a puss. And yeah. Cat. Speaking of puss. A pussy cat. Oh, okay. Speaking of that puss. Me. <laughs> <laughs> did you get? Th- did you find something in your shit when you got it that one time? What? Did you find something in your stuff when you came over with Jesse that one time and got it? Find stuff in Of what? I'll talk to you about it later. Off the air. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of stuff. Huh. We're, we're adults. All right. So, you got nothing you want to fucking share, dude? Um. I mean, nothing... <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys watch the... I've been bored as hell lately, man. I've been, like, off work for, like, two weeks straight now. Jerking, jerking off. Jerking off. Jerking off, jerking off. I'm good. You got a you got a Could nice be lady in your life. You looking to fuck? Um, uh, I tried a couple and 
you know, the double standard. Lots of double standards. And I've just come to, like, really hate women. For sure, man. Not, like, all women. Not all women. Just, like, most of their kind. Yeah, most of the kind. I'm I'm just kind of... Whatever. I don't yeah. really care anymore. Like it's like I'm almost becoming asexual. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> like I just I just don't care. I know how you feel, man. Like been there, done that. I don't know. They just try to I don't know. Like when it comes to relationships and stuff, I've realized that you're always looking for the for what's wrong instead of all the right thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They're always looking for all oh, the this is the small blah, blah, blah. it's not about you gotta be about building each other up. You gotta be about yeah, bigger That's things true. in life, the future and stuff like that. You can't just be living. Well, I mean, you gotta you gotta love. You gotta put in who what you, you are. You gotta yeah. put in what you expect. And to take until out. you can fully love yourself, which I'm almost there. I feel like yeah. I'm getting there. But oh, I love yeah, myself. I mean, and you don't want to put anybody in that situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that too. It's, it's not like fair to I'm, either of you. Yeah, exactly. That's that's. Yeah, that's a big thing right there. Like that's really true. Um, yeah, I've been trying, but um. well, you know the the thing with me, the way I look at this stuff is, we try and perceive life too <coughs> as too linear, mm-hmm. and we try and force things to happen at, at certain points. And that that's not the same as saying, well, I have a goal, I have a deadline, I'm going to do it that way. That's not what I'm trying to get at. I'm trying to get at we force ourselves at too young of an age to figure out everything there is to figure out in our in our lives, right? So when you're 18, you're you're supposed to know where you want to go to school, what you want to major in, uh, all this all these plans like. Ten years out, you're supposed to know what you want to retire in at the age of seven. Like, you know what right, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah, looking, exactly. you're looking far and into the future. We put so much pressure on that, and it's like I, I didn't know who I was until I still don't know. Until I, after dating Ashley you a couple years, now. around like my twenty. What's your name? I mean, I know that's my name, but like, <laughs> I just I don't know. I didn't really figure myself out until I was like twenty two or twenty three. I don't know who I am. <laughs> who am I? What am I? So you can't expect, and because we do that, and we force this linear path to people, it fucks with them. Yeah. I wasn't ready to go to college at 18. I wasn't ready to start living as an adult at 18. I'll admit that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I haven't even started living, let alone living as an adult. Fuck. And we want to know why kids are so depressed and, and have anxiety and stress. It's because adults fucking put it on them. Mm-hmm. They don't oh want to yeah. be kids. That's like Do you have anything one. that's wrong with you? anything that gets out of line? They want to fucking jam a pill down your throat and, and push you aside and be like, ah, I'm done with it. Yeah. yeah. Instead of actually talking to someone. That's my number no, one thing. That's society as a whole. Or saying, too. hey, and our society's got a problem with that. Where there's not, there's absolutely nothing wrong with therapy. There's nothing wrong with having someone to talk yep. to and figure yourself out. Mm-hmm. That's true. And it and it's so it's so frustrating. Yep. It I'm sucks when you fuck up and then that's what your life has to be based around. Like that's right. what people force your life to be because the, in the back of their mind they're always going to be thinking, well, that you done that, you know, you done this. This is these are perfect reasons just to be like fuck you, and, you know. And then and so, people don't let you grow. Yeah. That's an annoying. It's and I'm a human being too. So like, if I talk to the eight if I talked to 18-year-old me as myself now, I wouldn't know who that person is. Yep. So the t- I hate that, too. People make mistakes. I mean, yeah. you were half the man you are today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that got deep. I love it. Because we were talking about saxophones earlier. See, <laughs> see that, <laughs> was, that, that, that was a it, like a, an actual, like, you know, good for you, but it was also a used to be skinny and now you're fat joke. In case you didn't know, <laughs> you talk about me. Yeah, because I said you were half the man you oh, were. Oh, yeah, wait, you were now. Sure. <laughs> and, uh, it was a, it was a double, like a two, double meaning. Hey, you're fat too. We're I all. I know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big man. Tommy's gaining weight now that he's not living the life he was before. Yes. Adam's starting to, you know, take medicine to make him eat. He seems a little bit happy. Appetizers. Right yeah, it's because he's realizing how good food is. It's true, man. You know like, why fat you, guys are happy? I was gonna say, you tell me, great. you tell me one fat man who's not happy. 
I mean, other than the fact that he's eating himself to death. But, you know, <laughs> well, at, least he, at least he knew what he was. He's like fucking 900 pounds and can't get off his. Bed. Like, if, I don't okay, if Guy, think if Guy Fieri was wasn't fat, think I wouldn't believe huge. him. Huh? If Guy Fieri wasn't fat, I wouldn't believe him when he took a bite out of something and said, oh my God, this is fucking good. I wouldn't believe it. It was like, yeah, you're spitting out, spitting it out between takes. <laughs> <laughs> Go run a mile or something. Yeah. All right, I think it's time to wrap up the show here. All righty. Uh, real quick. Um, <laughs> what the what kind of burp was that? Uh, it was like a backwards burp. <laughs> you were burping <laughs> in tongues. Yeah. <laughs> I was burping in tongues. <laughs> speaking of speaking in tongues, <laughs> we should... Uh, we should come up with like a fucking metal band, kind of like Lamb of God. Wicked tongue. <laughs> but we just like Wait, just no, fucking that's like. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> Don't you ever do that to a mic. Stop it. <laughs> it's so gross. It's like hearing the word moist. It sounds like he's licking the ball. inside of a bubble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome image. I mean, she's she's into it. I'll do it. I'm just kidding. Do what, that's, do not, that's gross. <laughs> that's disgusting. I don't think you can pay me enough money to lick it. To, to I lick mean, Jake, bend over. That ass is about to get tossed sauced and it. sauced. And tossed. <laughs> <laughs> First I lick it, and then I pickle it. <laughs> uh, what? I'm going to lick it, <laughs> and then I'm going to pickle at. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen I that the, video. I get the pickle now. No. Uh, what video is that? That's, uh, that one Orlando dude from uh, That's So Raven. He has this video on there where he's like wearing all this these, this ice all Oh, the all dude, over. the Corey in the house dude. Yeah. yeah. And he's sitting there and he's like, bring the pussy right here. <laughs> Come here, bitch. Come right here, bitch. It, and let me lick your pussy. I'm gonna lick your pussy like this. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, and I'm gonna lick it, and then I'm gonna pack it. <laughs> and the way he says it, dude, and the I'm way he looks. Pack <laughs> Well, I'll never be able to. Yeah, I gotta this. show you guys that video, though. I'll tag you in it. Oh, that's hilarious. <sighs> lick it, lick it, and I'm gonna pack it. Pack it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gross. Hey man, you ever done the fake chow? What? Huh? I was fake chowing my wife. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true at all. <laughs> What? You ever isn't the fake? fake isn't the fake it's from Hall Pass? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. We fake chow. Smacks his lips with a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> He's just like sitting there, like rolling his eyes, like like I'm. Oh, keep going, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then it's just that one chick shits all over the fucking wall. The <laughs> <laughs> no, speaking of which, uh, Zach and Mary. When she's like, all right, just make sure. Uh, Watch the pull out. I'm down here. (laughs) 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 Oh, oh, I was like. I could smell (sighs) that shit. Yeah. It was so nasty looking. I think I got a cold from fucking scraping that car off. I'm like dying over here. Yeah. Well, while he dies, let's talk about the end of this show. Thank you so (laughs) much. (laughs) Thank you so much for listening. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for listening to. Can you take me higher? How have we not done that? Done a Creed cast. No, we should do Can next. you take me higher? Well, Tommy and I we were going to talk about we, we were doing a Cage the Elephant like album review. Like we should do uh, like ranking music all reviews, of them. Yeah. yeah, we should do yeah. that. We should do that on when we're all together for uh, this show. Live in the dream. We should set deadlines yeah. for the shows yeah. too. You know, like s- dates that we record, so like, like, a, I can, like a real like show. I can, so I can like prepare. Yeah. yeah, so we're not waiting on Tommy. And yeah, it's not yeah. like just that. It's always Tommy's <laughs> fault. It's never, it's never Luke and me. It's always Tommy. Anyway, uh, just, I'm just, I'm uh, just, thanks for listening to the show. You can. I'm get the it. scapegoat. Can I help show <laughs> this fucking show? You can get it on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. I Google doubt podcast, it. maybe. Compact disc, <laughs> doubt it. Cassette tape. Anywhere you can get a podcast, it's out there. It's living the dream. Living the dream. Yeah. Living the dream. Yeah. yeah. yeah.